I'm Jem Dior and this is my mom. Cindy, hi. And today we're going to be answering some frequently asked questions about homeschooling. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start at the very beginning. So school is never very easy for me. I never really fitted in uh, and I got bullied quite a bit. And so I left the school. I went to another school um, or private schools. And I realized <laughs> school's not for me. My mom and I were doing some research and she's been amazing in this. And we found homeschooling. And that's when we found GED. If you don't know what GED is, GED is an American recognized online school where you get an online platform, you get books if you'd like, you can get them printed out, and you get tutors, okay? So I was de-schooled before I started homeschooling. Yeah, de-schooling is pretty much not doing anything. And I think during this time with COVID-19, it's pretty much been a de-schooling period where kids don't have to wake up at a set time and rush to school and get their uniform and do certain homework, where they can actually just be. So I'm at theatre school and with theatre school I'm there about five hours a day, every day, five days a week, which can be quite stressful, especially if I was at school, which I'm not. And that's why homeschooling is so amazing, because I can juggle what I love and also getting a really good education. Why is homeschooling good for you? So one of the first things is responsibility and discipline. It really taught me a lot of responsibility. Uh, and I have to say in the beginning it was a little bit rocky. Trust me, it is going to be like that. It is going to be scary because it's completely different. Once you get in the swing of things, the flow. it's so easy, trust me. So discipline and responsibility, it's so, so important. And that's why I have a very mm -hmm. meticulous schedule that I do like to keep very... Very strict. Very strict. <laughs> Most of the work can be done on your own. You don't have to have a mother or a father or, or a tutor. You are able to actually do the syllabus on your own online. Or if you don't have a computer, as Jem mentioned, you can print, print out, out the, the notes and have hard copy. So you're able to do this on your own. However, should you be stuck with a specific subject or something you are able to then use an online tutor which we have access to who are also doing specials during this time um, and we can discuss that you know further I have a tutor and the hard copy books uh, I find that that's just the way that it really helps me uh, to be honest I could probably not do it on my own if I didn't have a tutor a tutor just motivates me to do it it makes me so excited to do it. And also, extra questions. If you finish with your work early, you can learn a whole bunch of other things, which I personally think is just wonderful. I decided though that the, the price of schooling was is just getting ridiculous. And for what they actually do learn at school, why not just learn it on their own at home? And this has proved to be the very best thing. Uh, Jem's grades have gone up, she's so much more responsible, uh, she enjoys what she does, she doesn't have the distractions of other children or the bullying, she's able to really focus on her work and even though she started midterm two years ago, she caught on quite quickly. Yep, as I said, rocky start, get into the swing of things and it's extremely easy. Uh, so now what I also want to speak about is that there are many different online platforms for homeschooling. So I use GED. GED is an uh, American recognized Recognize. online school <laughs> and I personally think it's amazing because you don't have to learn any other languages. You only have to do four subjects which is English, math, science and social science. Social science has economics, geography and history and they really just pack a lot of information into a little bit which is a lot easier to learn in my nice. opinion. <laughs> There are online tests that you do, so as soon as you've done your work for the day, you, you get tested and you get your results straight away. So you can see how well you're doing and how well you actually, you know, capture the knowledge. There are tests, and the way that this works is pretty much, I think, like every single school. Uh, so there's, as I said, four different subjects, and there's four terms in one year. So you'll do four tests in one term, okay? So once you finish with all your learning, you'll go ahead at the end of the term and do a test for each subject and then you get your results straight away, which is the best thing ever. You can just finally see your results and see if you've, if you've understood the work and 
but it's there's no be. pressure you can do no tests when you're ready there's no on that date you've got to study and do this much homework the pressure's taken off you can be a kid again you can actually just live and do the things that you're passionate about and the things that you resonate with there's no more homework and having to study all these hours before an exam do you ever get lonely no <laughs> i do not at all uh, so I would definitely suggest obviously right now you can't do this But when you are homeschooled, I would suggest in normal times to do a lot of extra murals or a lot of other things out of homeschooling because homeschooling If you like really really try you can probably get like four hours of work a day But like normally let's just be honest. It's about two <laughs> and you get it done, I promise you. You sit down, you focus, you do the work, and, and then you're done. open for the rest of the day and you can do whatever you want. So what we're hoping to do is with all the new kids, you know, coming exploring on, homeschooling. exploring homeschooling till the end of the year, we're hoping to actually coordinate and put age appropriate kids together and actually form groups where you can uh, have friends. the standard of GED is much higher than the South African standard. Uh, the pass rate is 75% on GED, so it's a much higher standard and once you get through your matric, which is equivalent to you know, when you're 17 years old and you've written your GED, uh, the, the world is your oyster. Cool. I, yeah. think, I think we covered a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you Thank like you. this video, give it a like. Share it on to your friends to let them know about homeschooling. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to email us. I'll leave our email down below and we will get back to you. Also, if you'd like to know a little bit more about homeschooling and if you're interested in it, go ahead and email us down below and we'll send you more information. Okay, bye. <laughs>